Let's see. All right, there we go. Yeah, that looks cool. What's going on, guys? It's Soldier. I'm here again talking about the free stream alerts extension from own.tv on Twitch. Definitely a must have, I think, for console streamers who otherwise don't have a PC or broadcasting software to push in those alerts for their streams. This is a free extension will give you alerts on your stream through an extension on Twitch, so definitely a must have. They just came out with a brand new version just about a week, a week and a half ago. So they are still working through some of those bugs, but they just pushed out a major update for uh, some of the fixes for this extension. So I wanna go in and go over some of those things and show you exactly what the previews look like and for the alerts so that you can see exactly what that's supposed to look like so you can get a good idea. So if this is your first time trying to find this extension, when you're logged into Twitch, you're in the creator dashboard, into the extensions, just go ahead and type in free alerts into the search bar and it will be the very first extension that pops up for you. It's free stream alerts by own.tv. So let's go ahead and jump into configure. You'll notice I still have some icons missing. This isn't a big deal. It may have something to do with security settings on my browser or it may have something to do on, on Twitch's side or own.tv, not quite sure. This is not showing up as one of their known issues, but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and let the devs know just in case other people are experiencing it. So if, if this does show up for you to where you're missing some icons, like next to theme store, alerts configurator, don't sweat it right now. They're still pushing updates out, pushing out fixes for this extension, but the rest of the extension should function as normal. Um, one thing you'll notice here in the theme store is that it seems like there are no free themes at the moment. I'm not sure if this was uh, something that went wrong with these new categories popping up, but these new and noteworthy, as you click on them and set them to install, they still install perfectly fine. So I'm not really sure why there's nothing showing in free themes at the moment, but this very first one, like the Brave Series Stream Overlay theme, I went ahead and installed that just fine, completely free. I don't have a premium license and it was working just fine. So uh, don't freak out if you don't see any free themes. I think this is something that they just have to push another update out for, for it to show up correctly. So let's jump over into alerts configurator. Here is where you can see a little section where you can test alerts. Make sure that you add each alert variation for the different kind of alerts that you need on your stream. If you don't have this list created down here where these variations are added in, you'll probably see a line right under these buttons here that says you don't have any alerts for the following, whether it's follow, subscribe, um, resubscribe, donation host, so then you can add each one one by one through a little drop down here. I've got them all added in. That's why you don't see them here, but that's where you would add them in. So you'll notice this button is a little bit smaller than the last time as well, but I've got everything in here. We tested out this open preview last time. It wasn't working for us, but it is working this time. Wanted you to see how that's going to look. So when you click open preview, it's going to open up uh, a separate browser tab. It looks like just a green screen right now. Pop back over to the extension. And if you click on say test follow, you're gonna get a green indication that it's been sent. If you pop over to that next window, you'll see exactly what that is supposed to look like on your stream. So that's working, that's awesome. Let's jump into some other things here. For each of these alert variations, first time around when we clicked into it and we looked into the advanced settings, there was a ton of different settings, including um, you know the image, sound, duration of the alert, things like that. And they went ahead and pushed an update to where now you have to have a uh, license to get into those advanced settings. Um, right now, there is a sale for a premium life license. This is a lifetime license um, for $15. So any new themes that they put out for this extension, you'll have access to. So it, it might be something to look into. $15 is definitely a worthy investment into this. So if you're looking to get that premium license, have a little bit more customization and control over your themes and alerts, this would definitely be the way to go. So right now there's a 50% off sale on owned.tv's website. So go ahead and check that out. If you do have the advanced license and you go into the advanced settings of one of your alerts, you do see a field where there is a sound connected to each one of these alerts. They did go ahead and clear up that they can't have sound for alerts. It's currently not planned. They point to Twitch's guidelines for the reasoning that this is not planned. Um, and so your alerts are gonna look fantastic, 
but unfortunately you're not going to have a sound attached to it. So just to quickly go over some of the highlights of this update, um, dark mode has been implemented in the configuration page. The color picker has been implemented including a color preview, but this is in the advanced settings and these are hidden if you don't have a valid license available. Certain placeholders like name, amount, month, streak, viewers, and count are all now highlighted in alert. Here's exactly what that looks like. I think this is a great addition. I'm really glad they made that update. The add alert variation button has been made slightly smaller, smaller like I mentioned. The test buttons for custom alerts and donations have been removed and the alerts preview was optimized for the extension. So now those fonts are displaying uh, correctly. So some of the known issues that are still around are that alerts are not displaying correctly on mobile devices. So they say it's a limitation for Twitch. So that's really unfortunate. I don't know if they'll have a fix for this in the future or not. It would be nice um, because so many people do tune in on mobile. Hosts are currently not working. So if you're trying to test out for hosts and somebody hosts you and it's not popping up, that's a known issue, they're working on it. The text size in the preview is a little bit smaller and that's a fix that is uh, having to be reviewed by Twitch. So it might take a little bit longer. So those are the known issues at the moment, but I'm really glad that they finally got the fix in for these alerts to show up on stream, like you saw in the opening clip and for the previews to show up as well um, so that you know exactly how it's gonna be looking on your stream. So another thing I want to note is that I mentioned it last video, but you can join the testers discord, share your feedback, share any thoughts you might have on this extension so that they continually improve it. Um, I think it's off to a terrific start. Definitely a must have extension for console streamers. If you want me to do a video looking into the advanced settings a little bit more, um, let me know. I'll, I'll definitely get a hold of a premium license so that we can take a look exactly into those advanced settings and see some of the functions, some of the customization of this extension and these alerts. But thanks for tuning into this video. I hope to have a complete guide once all these fixes are in place for you, just so that it's a little bit less wordy and talking about some of the things that are changing constantly. Once again, my name is Soldier of the Cross. I make content around gaming streaming and the technical aspects of content creation. I also stream on Twitch every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday evening at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Time. If you found any value in this video, please hit like and subscribe and uh, click that bell so that you can get all the latest videos and I will catch you in the next one.